My name is Nais Nailanti Lenyete and I was born in Kimana. I lost my parents, both of them, in 1997 and 1998. So when I was eight years old, uh, you know that's the age when they organize circumcision for girls. So I knew like I'm, I'm young, so I can stand all these. And then again, I was in a boarding school, so I was interacting with people from different communities. So I really knew that it's something that is not a must. So at 4 a.m., we woke up and we escaped. We walked actually for almost 20 kilometers, and we were beaten. We were beaten and we were told that next time don't do something stupid like that. So in December, he came again. So in the morning again, I escaped. I went to my grandfather's home. And I told him, my grandfather, I've been seeing some of my girlfriends dying when they are bleeding, when they are being circumcised. And then again, I was seeing that once they're circumcised, you know, it's a stretch from girlhood to womanhood. So I knew that once this is done to me, that's the end of my education. I was telling my grandfather that I really, I want to go to school. That's all I want. And I don't want to be circumcised. You know, so later on he recognized my determination and said that just leave her alone. And that's how I, I escaped. So back in 2008, I was chosen by my village elders to undergo a training which was organized by AMREF. And by that time, I was the only girl who has gone to school in that community. And we were told that when you're going back to your community, make sure what you got here, you'll take it back. So I say that uh, these men, we call them Morans. Morans are men who are mid-20s, uh, mid-30s. So these are men who are uh, at most at a risk. So, and then again, in terms of circumcision, they are the future husbands of these young girls. So the first time I went to them, they rejected me. But I still had something in my mind that I still want to help these other girls and I'm not going to give up, I'll give it a try. Even if it's after 10 years, maybe one day it's, it's going to bear fruit. After some time, they allowed me. So I went, I started having forums with them, uh, talking about HIV and AIDS. So it was very hard for you to start talking with them. But later on, after interacting with them, I saw that they are becoming open. Now we had to go into other deeper issues. Without this all chain or without these different groups, you cannot, I mean, you cannot end uh, circumcision. Yeah, because you need everyone. You need the parents, uh, the mother and the father to understand why, why, why are we not, or why are we not supposed to do this to our younger girls. I always believe that in this community, if you want to check, uh, if you want to make change, you really need patience, so you have to wait. You know, these are people who are by change, it's going to take a lot of time. You can just change people in one day or two days. And it's, sometimes it's good to have dreams, but, and I always believe that if, if you believe in something, you one day you'll make it. Yeah.